Welcome back to another edition of CDA Computer Tips. My name is Christopher Duncan, and in today's tip, I'm going to show you how to add some simple buttons that will add functionality to your Adobe Acrobat forms. We're going to start off today by just opening up the navigation pane here so I can see all of my tools on the right hand side, and I'll click on Prepare Form. And now that I'm in the form editing mode, I just want to add three little buttons across here at the bottom. The first one I'm going to add will be a submit button. That way people can just click on it and email me the results of their form. Here at the top in the prepare forms toolbar, you'll see I've got an OK button. Just click on that button and then come right down here at the center of your form and click one time to release. Now, rather than jumping in here with the field name, I'm going to go ahead and click on the All Properties hyperlink. First thing I want to do is go to the General tab, and where it says Name, I'm going to add the text Submit, and I'm going to have the same text for my tooltip. Next thing I'll do is I'll go to the Options tab, and here where it says Label, I'll type Submit Form. And then I'll click on the Actions tab here on the right hand side. Here on the Actions tab I can see my trigger is going to be Mouse Up. Select Action, Execute a Menu Item. If you click on that drop down you'll see you've got quite a few choices including if I scroll all the way to the bottom one that says Submit a Form. I'll go ahead and click on Submit a Form and then click on Add. Now in this window it's asking me for a URL. I want this to email back to me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type the expression mail to with no spaces followed by a colon and then I'll just put my email address in there. You of course can use your own email address. And below this where it says export format, for right now I'm going to choose PDF, the complete document, and then I'll click on OK. Finally, I'll click on the Close button. Now, that's my Submit Form button, but I want to add two more. If you're going to add interactivity with your form, one of the buttons you certainly want to have is a Reset Form button. That way, if somebody starts to type information into the form and changes their mind, they can just click a button and it will take everything they've already typed out of the boxes. So I'll click on OK here at the top. And now I'll click just to the left of my Submit Form button. And I'll go through the same steps. I'll click on All Properties. I'll go to the General tab. And I'll rename it Reset. Both the name and the tooltip will be the same. I'll go to the Options tab. I'll give it the label of Reset Form. And when I click on the Actions tab, I can see my last action of submit a form is still selected. I'll click on that drop down and this time one of the choices says reset a form. So I'll click on reset a form, click on add, and I just want to make sure that all of my check boxes here beside all of my field names are selected and then I'll click on OK and then close again. So that's two out of my three buttons. Let's go add the third one. I want to add a button that will allow people to print out the results of the form. So I'm going to come up here again to the toolbar, click on the button, and I'll click now just to the right of the Submit a Form button, click on All Properties, go back to the General tab, and I'll just give this the name of Print, and I'll use that as the tooltip as well. Click on Options. For the label, I'll type Print Form. And then over here on the Actions tab, if I look under Reset a Form, I don't have a choice that says Print the Form. But what I do have is a choice at the very top that says Execute a Menu Item. So I'll click on that and then click on Add. Now here I have all of my menu choices, one of which is of course File Print. I'll click on File Print one time and then click on OK and now click on close. So to see if all of this works I have to get out of my um, form editing toolbar 
So I'll just click on the X here on the right hand side and I can see I've got my three buttons. I can see I've got my three buttons here below. I'll just go ahead and type my name here in the first field and if I click on the reset form button that clears everything out of course. If I go up here and I type another name and let's say that now I am ready to email the results of my form to myself. I'll just click on the submit a form button and you can see it gives me a choice of using my default mail application Microsoft Outlook or webmail. I'm going to assume that will work and I'll just click on cancel and then finally I'll check out my print form button I'll just click on it and it'll take me right to the print dialog box. So that's it for today. Three easy buttons you can add to a form in Adobe Acrobat that will make your user's life a lot easier.